Welcome to the I'm in Love with That Song podcast, a show where we examine a different song each episode on our mission to explore what makes songs great. We are part of the Pantheon family of podcasts, and I'm your host, Brad Page. On this show, no musical knowledge or skill is required. All you need is a love for music, and you're right at home here. Frank Marino was always a great guitar player, one of the many guitar players in the 70s influenced by Jimi Hendrix. Marino could play his ass off. His band, Mahogany Rush, never had any best-selling albums, but they released over a dozen records and were a pretty popular live act. Probably their biggest moment was playing at Cal Jam 2 in 1978. Well, back in June of 2021, Frank Marino released a statement that he would no longer be able to perform or maybe even play due to an unexpected and debilitating medical condition. So I thought I should pay a little tribute to this great player and take a look at one of my favorite Mahogany Rush tunes. This is Sister Change. Mahogany Rush was a hard rockin' trio from Canada, not to be confused with that other Canadian trio, just Rush. This trio was Paul Harwood on bass, Jim Ayub on drums, and Frank Marino on guitars and vocals. Interestingly, at the time they recorded their first album, Jim Ayub was 30 and Paul Harwood was 32 but Frank Marino was only 17. I think that speaks to not just Frank's talent, but his leadership and the faith that these two guys had to put their careers on the line for a kid almost half their age. Frank Marino started out playing drums and switched to guitar in his early teens, but that experience of playing drums gave him a strong foundation of rhythm in his guitar playing. There was a legend that during an acid trip, he was imbued by the spirit of Jimi Hendrix. But that's just a myth, probably started or encouraged by his record company or management. Still, there's no denying that Hendrix influence in his playing. That first Mahogany Rush album, released in 1972, was pretty derivative of Hendrix. But after a few albums, they found more of their own sound though that Hendrix influence never left them. They released a live album in 1978 at the height of the live album craze, and that turned out to be their most successful album. So successful, in fact, that their next album, Tales of the Unexpected, featured one side of studio material and one side of more live recordings. We're going to listen to the opening track from Tales of the Unexpected, from the studio side, this is a song called Sister Change. It was written by Frank Marino and features Frank on guitars, vocals, and synthesizers, Paul Harwood on bass, Jim Ayub on drums, and Nanette Workman on backing vocals. <laughs> love that riff. It drives the whole song. But for a guitar-based trio, that synthesizer is pretty high in the mix. Let's see if we can push up the guitars a bit just to get a better idea of what they're doing underneath that synth riff. There are two guitar tracks, one playing clean, funky chords and another distorted guitar sprinkling in some lead lines. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the original mix where the vocals come in for the first verse. Yeah, now we're talking. 
Longtime listeners of this show know that I love my hard rock with a heavy dose of funk. Nothing's better than those two genres mixing it up, and this track really does it. Frank is not the most gifted of singers, but he really makes it work. And those backing vocals by Nanette Workman, that's the secret sauce here. I really like what they do with the beat during this section. It's not in some strange time signature, but it feels like it goes off on its own for a bit before locking back in when the riff returns. Let's hear that again with the vocals. The vocals and music change here, but the beat stays the same. The drums almost turn the beat around there with an extra snare drum hit. I like that crash cymbal hit there right before the one of the next measure. Little syncopation things like that really add some spice to a groove like this. Frank fires off a nice little guitar lick there using his wah-wah pedal. There's a great little riff under the vocals here. Frank takes a guitar solo here, and for all of his guitar hero reputation, he's pretty restrained here. It's probably one of his least flashy solos, but he's creating an atmosphere here. He's playing slowly and melodically. With the effects on the guitar and the stereo panning, I think this is a great moody guitar solo. <laughs> Let's bring the guitar up in the mix. Listen to the notes he coaxes out of his guitar here. I'm just going to let the rest of the solo play through and feel the vibe. I like Frank's interjections here. Let's bring up the vocals for a second. Change. 
Let's hear more of the drums. Frank plays some great little guitar licks there. Kind of buried in the mix, though. Let's see if we can hear that again. Sister Change, Frank Marino and Mahogany Rush. Time and age wear on us all. Eventually, all of us have to acknowledge that when we reach a certain point that we're just past our peak, that we're just not as strong, can't run as fast, we can't see or hear as well, we can't sing as well or play guitar as well. It happens to all of us. There's just no escape in it. Accidents or disease only accelerate that. All you can do is use the skills you've got while you got them and appreciate those talents in others. Whatever's going on with Frank, I hope he's okay, and I hope he can continue to get some joy out of music, even if he's not playing. Thanks for joining me for this edition of the I'm In Love With That Song podcast. I'll be back in two weeks with another new episode. You'll find all of our previous shows on our website, lovethatsongpodcast.com. And of course, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google, Amazon, basically every podcast source on the planet. And if that isn't enough to get your fix of music podcasts, then check out the other great shows right here on the Pantheon Network. As always, support the artists you love by buying their music. And thank you for supporting us and for listening to this episode on Frank Marino and Mahogany Rush with Sister Change.